InfoWars Nightly News. Uh, please don't forget... This hour was brought to you by great sponsors with their non-GMO, super high-quality, storable food, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. Best storable food out there, and it has a great price. And they're supporters of this transmission, a win-win-win, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex or 866-229-0927, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. And please don't forget... Uh, that we have Eslon's excellent new book on transhumanism available at Infowars.com. Now, Daniel, before the break, I was asking you when you came back to break down. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I was asking you to break down. I get so. Golden Lily. I think you mentioned Golden Lily operation, which went down the, uh, the you know, the gold uh, operation uh, in the Second World War by the Nazis. That's right. The missing Nazi loot and, and all the, the artwork and all the rest of it. That's right. Uh, because you see a big Nazi contingent with Bilderberg. Please continue. Because again, you know, the, the two individuals, the key individuals who were members of the Bilderberg, uh, uh, right from the beginning, uh, Prince Bernard, one of the founders, SS carrying card member, and also Walter Heilstein, who was uh, the first president of the European Commission and the man, the lawyer, Nazi lawyer, who uh, whose uh, uh, writings uh, justified or convinced Hitler that he had the justification necessary to create the, the concentration camps. Uh, all across Europe. So these are the two individuals who are very, very much involved in Bilderberg from the very, very beginning. And that's something that Bilderberg has tried to hide. And if you look at some of the individuals uh, which you have uh, uh, today in the uh, key positions, such as uh, Herman van Rompuy, Barroso, Schultz, the, uh, uh, the outgoing uh, uh, president of commission, uh, these are the individuals who are very much uh, in the same vein as uh, as the early Walter Heilsteins and uh, Prince Bernard's. But uh, it's a, you know, uh, the, the whole point of, of a gold lily operation, very interesting. You know, we're talking about, if we believe the actual numbers, there's 140,000 metric tons of gold in the world, where there's, in fact, there's at least a million and a half metric tons of gold as a result of stolen loot by the Japanese and, uh, and uh, the Germans in the Second World War. Now, this information ca ever came out, that gold is as worthy as a, as a common rock you find on the street. The entire world's financial markets will collapse onto itself, and that's one of the reasons why most of this loot is still hidden in the... Uh, in the jungles of the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. And uh, actually, the whole point of this independent uh, uh, bank back in the second Bilderberg Conference in 1955, it was discussed at the time when Sukarno was the president of Indonesia, was actually going to use that stolen loot, which he knew where some of it was, as the backdrop uh, to create a non-aligned bank, which was actually going to be the key competition to the Western banks. And needless to say, the CIA took Sukarno out 10 years later in the mid-1960s, and one of the key reasons they eliminated him was specifically because of Bilderberg's concerns for what would happen to the world economy and how Europe and the United States would lose control of the world financial power if Sukarno actually got his non-aligned bank up and running, and he could easily have done it because he had wow. all the money as a result of all this stolen, you know, trillions and gazillions of trillions of dollars worth of gold stolen by the Japanese and the Germans. That's right. Second World War. Daniel, we're out of time. Will you promise to come back on in the aftermath of Bilderberg to track uh, what absolutely. happened? We'll have all the information from our sources. And uh, people can follow me at the, my Twitter account. It's at Estulin Daniel. And uh, please keep listening to Alex Jones. He's one of the few sources out there who really gets the information on Bilderberg more than anybody else. And your website's excellent. It's in Spanish as well. Give that out for folks. Yeah, it's DanielEstulin.com. My Twitter is Estulin Daniel. And, uh, you know, when we come back, maybe after the Bilderberg conference is over, we're almost done with my Bilderberg documentary. That's going to be out in about Can't months. wait, Daniel. You Thank you. Let's get you back on next week. Thank you. Visit uh, can't wait to see that. We'll be right back today. with some overdrive and a special report.